Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrub Nautica. The only Let's Play series played by an actual potato. And sponsored by Pepsi. Nice. So, I'm feeling a lot better today. I don't have a fever anymore. And I can breathe freely, which is really nice. So I should sound better on mic, and I definitely feel better. I'm not coughing that much either. Blink. So I had some thoughts. Actually, I was told a few things, but I, I hope I'll remember them as I play, because it was several hours ago. Uh, okay. Nothing much up here. Oh, no, what I was going to do. I was going to put this here. I need to do some things to my base. To add on a few things. My brother's dog is boofing in the background. Oh, no, no, thank you. I wanted to. I think that the scanner room here uh, is drawing a lot of power, and I think the scan kind of stops whenever the, the habitat runs out of power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a third solar panel. I'm going to see if I can get that upgraded uh, scanning speed. Very loud coffee maker in my ear again. Of course I stored away the habitat builder as I do. Did I? Yes, of course I did. It's in materials. Okay, so... First, let's see what it requires to make the upgrade speed thing. I seem to remember it wasn't that bad. Change. Silver and gold, okay. I don't know if I have a silver. I do have a silver. Nice. Call it took a couple copper. Glass or quartz? Okay. Do the solar panel. Seems like power sources triple as like uh, power storage. So why the hell not? Light up the night. Hmm. Oh, the snorkel. Uh, the rebreather effect was still on the screen when I was indoors. Might be a waste, I don't know. Junk. Oh, I guess you could probably craft four of them and then scan at lightning speed. Cool. And cycle cameras like this has not caught any more bladderfish. Oh, metal salvage is being marked. Cool. Can I see it from this too? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, this is how you use the scanner room. Nice. Metal salvage over there. Neat. So I guess what I should do, not be scanning for metal salvage. How do I get out of this? Ah, escape. 
We should not be scanning for metal salvage, because that's kind of useless. But we should be looking for sandstone chunks, because that'll have silver and lead and gold in them. So I just used some silver and gold, so... Wait, do I have food on me? No food. Well, I do have that grav trap, so I don't really have to worry too much about it. I hope. Put my habitat builder back. And good to go. So, if I remember correctly. Did I not scan some part of this? That's where I just saw the little scan icon pop up. Um, I swear the direction of the rendezvous point I was looking for was kind of north northeastish of the pod. So I'm gonna try to head there today with my radiation suit. Also, I don't know if leaving the stationary and having it grab things is actually the correct way to use it. Huh. But I can always craft another one if this doesn't seem sufficient. And just have, like have a, a trap that I carry with me when I want to fish or pick up things easily. Cook up a meal before I leave. Materials box. That'll do for now. So, it was sort of northeasty, I believe. So, let's head that way again, see if I can find the radiation uh, area. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get. Life pod 12 until I find some way to. Wait, do I have my repair kit on me? I do. I also remembered just now that I had damaged the Seamoth from uh, getting too close to crush depth. And I remembered I keep trying to get rid of my. What is this for? I keep trying. Oops. To get rid of my repair tool, but it's certainly useful because it can just repair like that. Now I'm back at 100% hull. This is the... Wreckage? Did I scan this? I feel like I did. I will feel remiss if I don't take a look. Also would like to get another diamond and the the multi-purpose room, I guess that's called. So I can put a modification station and start upgrading my materials because I feel like parts of this will be scannable if I, if I uh, upgrade my scanner. There's also the ability to improve your uh, oxygen tanks and stuff like that. Gigantic reef back. Hmm. This doesn't seem to be where the radiation is. Ooh. Park a little bit up so that the sand sharks won't get me. I 
I also rewatched a couple of my old episodes. Clear waste disposal. I guess that's another thing you can craft for like storage. Maybe it's something that's actually used, who knows. Watched a couple of my old videos, and I think I missed like the prawn pieces of the prawn suit in that wreckage from a couple episodes ago. Shell plates. But also not super worried about it. Hard to have this. Because I figure that we'll find all the little individual pieces of something eventually. Just keep scanning things, because there's way more than you like need. Reginald. The new fish. Any sandstone on this block? Dodge that sand shark. Also, they're not. Yes. Like these huge pieces of salt. You don't use the laser cutter on this. That's a shame. I thought I'd figured it out. Oh, uh, this is a screenshot right here. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see the pod is here, which means I was facing kind of this way ish. I guess I can orient by that life pod beacon. So the message did mention the red grass, which is here. And there's lots of stone. Uh, arches and outcroppings, I think it said. So if I just find the radiation, I think I have a good. Hey, that's life pod 12. It was the, the head orientation from life pod 17, I believe. I will actually double check once we get back to base. Because I want to have an episode where I just read all of the uh, PDA data on things. Oh, my own shadow kind of scared me there. Probably should keep my rebreather on, but my entire intention was to go to the radiation zone today. Nothing here. That'll salvage. Stuff. I see a limestone outcrop I can break. These purple things aren't a thing? Okay. much mining. Hmm? Oh, there's your cutter. Which I can't scan? Is it like clipped into the ground? Okay, there we go. Back's very loud. Just refill my oxygen. There's stuff to scan there. When anything touches the sea moth, it makes a really worrying clang sound. That's a forklift. Where'd that table go I saw? I'm not sure why that took so much scanning, but it did. Okay, one more look around here. Make sure I've got everything that's scannable.
Mm, more wreckage over here. I wanted to say that's not a thing, but it may be a thing that I, I've already scanned. much going on. I think I'd like this area a little better than the other red grass 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 place because no biters. This is gonna be a laser cutter fragment. Yep. You can identify them just by the shape now. It was very upsetting trying to scan things and hear biters crashing into your ship. I don't think they did any damage, but it's still upsetting. Alt. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh my god, I didn't expect that at all. I was like, what is this swim... What is this shooting past me? Oh, it's a plant that's actually physically attacking me. That's crazy. Oh, where I go. All sandstone is good. Ah, oh, damn it. Oops. I'll drink it and then pick up the silver. Alright. Woo. It's still shooting at me. Head back to base. Oh, there are biters around. I just saw one. So, let's take another look kind of this way. See if I can figure out where the radiation zone was. I don't know if that saves. Oh, I did take damage again somehow. Is it like this kind of area? <laughs> Almost crashed there. Very casually driving the sea moth into the rock. This is surely the area I've already searched. This was like the vent, like the thermal vent, maybe? No, not the thermal vent. Oof. Ah, <laughs> oh, damaged my ship some more. I guess it's a sea moth on my ship. Sea moth would be a mini sub. And that is free repairs. Very nice. Hmm. I could make a battery right away. Those are definitely useful. No, or not, because I'm totally full. Salt, I can turn one to bleach right away. Which will condense my space down a little bit. And grab my habitat builder. Here. Turn it into a battery right away. Because, for no other reason, I can store batteries. Well, I can recharge something. Store batteries by doing this. And Habitat Builder.
Hmm. Should have probably cooked up Reginald. Habitat Builder, I can... Craft myself another locker. I think this is materials. How about I make one for tools? That seems like it would make sense. Stuff. Oh. Cool. To get another diamond for the modification station anyway. Let's call this the equipment locker. And I can put things like my habitat builder in there. Can I? I have to do it from here. Yeah. And probably medical can go in there too. Reginald. Is it the bleaches? I usually should save one salt for curing something if I need to, but I just don't feel like it's that important. Ooh. Reginald's great. Wow, it's excellent food. I would guess a floater is equipment, sort of. Uh, where is my fire extinguisher? Wouldn't be in titanium lockers, of course. Probably turn a few of these into glass. Maybe a third titanium locker? Hmm. Uh, what do I need silver for? Just look through the list once again. Was it to create a modification station? I can build a sea glide easily. Yeah, what the hell, why not? I have batteries. Copper wire, no, well, not that easily. It doesn't require a wiring kit. Do copper wire. I don't want to turn the silver into a wiring kit just yet, because I feel like. Uh, it, silver is useful for other things as well in its raw form, and I'll just turn it into that when I'm ready. I need a lubricant and a battery. Right, 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 right. Lubricant and battery. This is probably the tier one, and I've skipped straight to the tier two of vehicles. Can you leave my Seamoth alone, please? Oh, I, I have it on me. Oh, it just equips, it just increases your movement. Oh, that's awesome. So this is something that you could pack away as equipment. Oof. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. And I guess I'll make another titanium locker because this is getting ridiculous. Uh, 
sure. I don't want to call it tit three because I would get flagged on YouTube. <laughs> I should actually put things in the titanium locker. I'm very smart. All right. Uh, back looking for that. No, I don't really have a lot of time left on the episode, so make this relatively quick. Vehicular homicide, a few more fish. Vehicular fish aside, and the people. Go back to reef back territory. Brrr. Looked very odd when it was not loaded in all the way. It's probably just like pieces of terrain that have been snapped together in some kind of map editor by the devs. But it looked like it was some kind of secret. Also, there doesn't seem to be a, a power cell re recharger, like there is the battery recharger. And here's that weird forest of, like, mushrooms I found earlier. Doesn't seem to be like a power cell recharger, so I guess you have to craft an entirely new power cell for the sea moth when it gets low. Since car is high maintenance. Tree spawn. I don't think it's scannable. Doesn't seem to be a lot in the mushroom forest place. But it is very deep. We're going to head back this way, because I know it was about one kilometer to the rendezvous point. I can do this safely. Without... Jesus! The hell did I hit? That <laughs> really frightened me. There's another giant piece of the Aurora, which we're coming up on 30 minutes, so maybe this is the same piece? No, it looks way different. So what I'm going to do is, instead of returning to base, saving my game, and refreshing, from, or starting a new part from there, what I'll probably do is continue immediately. Oh, radiation detected. Well, great. So I couldn't find the radiation because I was protected from the radiation. That's... Ugh. Okay, so what I'll do instead of returning to base and saving my game and starting a new recording session like from a safe place and like relaunching the game and whatnot I will probably just continue right away after I end this part so damn biters so I will say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time